In this video, we'll discuss about resource sharing concept. In resource sharing, the way you see here, uh, we are performing multiplication here. A into B, and we are performing multiplication here as well, X into Y. So what is expected is uh, uh, one multiplier here, which is taking inputs A and B, and another multiplier, which is taking inputs X and Y. And then there is a multiplexer, which has got this select line. And the output that is coming from this first multiplier is applied here. And the second output, I mean, from the second multiplier, the output is applied to this max multiplexer. So, and this is your output set. So that's what we are understanding from this clock. I mean, from the board here. So, and then this about this clock, positive clock. Whenever there is a positive edge clock, let's say this is uh, some product. Let us call it as a product instead of Z. And uh, this, uh, this product is given here as an input. Whenever there is a positive edge clock, at that time on to the Z, this value, product value will appear. So that's how we are understanding from uh, this score. Now, there is a possibility of implementing the same thing in a different way. So what is that uh, possibility? We can use only one multiplier. With the help of one multiplier, it is possible. Now, let us see. Let's give one max here. Another max here. and uh, keep one multiplier here. So now, whenever select line is zero, whenever select line is zero, here you can see, then we are performing A into B. So let's give here, this is A, and this is B. Let's say, yeah, the select line here connected here as well, and here as well. This is your select line. So when select is zero, from the upper max, A is selected and uh, will be passed on to this multiplier. From the second multiplier max here, B will be selected and it will be passed on here. All right. So now, from this, we are going to get this product. Whenever there is a positive edge clock, then this product is applied here to the flip flop and it is going to appear on the Z output. So, when there is a select line happens to be one, then what is happening? X into Y is happening. So, let's give X here and Y. So in that way, when select line is one, then X is passed on to this first max output and uh, Y is passed on to the second max output. And then they are going to the multiplier unit. And from here on, the same from, I mean, in this, let's say, this is style one and style two. So only this portion uh, here, if, if this is called resource sharing, basically this is called resource sharing. 
what is the advantage of uh, doing so resource uh, sharing to implement this much uh, multiplier we consume more hardware to more hardware is consumed to implement this two multi multipliers are required but here in this case only one multiplier is required when we compare the hardware requirement for multiplier and the max obviously multiplier is going to multiplier is going to take more hardware since we now able to have only one multiplier though we increase the max since max is going to consume less hardware then eventually the overall hardware consumption here in the second slide is comparatively minimal hardware so with the help of this resource sharing so what is uh, the benefit what is the advantage we can minimize the resources we can minimize the hardware consumption so now how do we implement this one uh, using the synthesizer tool because we have to instruct this 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 thing to happen we have to instruct the synthesizer tool so we are using here this uh, yosis yosis this tool we are using this is open source so let us demonstrate that Here I'm going to my code uh, spaces. So here I have kept, uh, this is one folder, non-optimized resources, and this is optimized resources. So what I will do is, first I will go to this non-optimized resources, and I'll remove all of these things, because uh, before this uh, recording I have done. So let me remove all of these things. Now uh, here what we have, this is MUX multiplier. The same thing what I have discussed here. It's the same code, this same code here. The same code here that you see. And uh, this is the standard cell library. Sky 130 is the standard cell library. And this is a script that I'm going to use. So this typical script here is a read underscore liberty space hyphen lib is to read this uh, standard cell library and then read underscore verilog is to read this uh, box underscore mul that is verilog file and then these are the commands like uh, proc clean now if you see here uses tutorial for proc what is there for proc and this opt convert processes this always block to netlist elements 
and perform some optimization. So what it is going to do it is going to take this very long HTML code and in that if this, uh, this, this process is there, so this process is mapped to the hardware. And if there is an optimization possible, that optimization is also done with the help of this command, OPT command. So convert process to netlist. So this is going to convert, this PROC is going to convert the processes that is always block to netlist mapping to the hardware. And if there is any possibility of optimization that is done with the help of this OPT. Now, if you see further here, uh, this hash indicates we have commented this one. This is not going to be effective for the tool. These are the commented here. And uh, this is to, uh, you know, get the netlist. Uh, this is uh, standard, uh, the mux mul. This is the name given by the user. This is given by me. So the, basically, this is going to generate a uh, dot file, which is uh, um, like uh, for viewing purpose. For uh, that uh, schematic way, we can see. How, but this is the dot uh, extension file. So we want to convert that dot extension file to the JPEG file. So for that, this is the command. So if uh, if dot file is there, then we have to use this uh, x dot here. If you see here, this uh, x uh, graph is. With the help of this graph is we can view that uh, dot file. But if you don't have that graph is installed, then we can convert this dot file to the JPEG. So for that, this is used. And then this tech map. So what it does is uh, it maps to the internal library. So mapping to the internal library is like if you take, uh, for example, Suppose say I'm um, uh, doing some AND gate. So Y equal to A and B. So what is required for this means, I'll just draw this symbol. I'll say that this is the AND gate. AND gate is required. But I'm not talking about uh, the technology uh, used to implement this gate itself. So when I don't talk about the technology to implement this gate itself, it's called internal library. So here what is happening is, this take map is doing exactly that. Here you see, translating netlist to gate logic and perform some simple optimization. Perform some simple optimization is happening with the help of this OPT. So this is translating uh, netlist to gate logic. This is internal library. Now, after that, we are actually mapping to the technology library. That is, this is standard cell library, dotlib. So this does, if there are any flip-flops, then this will take care of this DEF lib map command if there are any sequential or uh, i mean combination logic this abc will take care so these are the command basically and then if intermediate any uh, unwanted uh, you know during this process if some of the unoptimized uh, unused anything gates are generated or wires are coming out they are cleaned which are not required basically and then with the help of this command, write underscore very long. With the help of this command, I am writing this uh, netlist, netlist file. Standard cell library netlist file. So 
then this command is going to help me to write like the resources consumed in this file report file and then i am converting this uh, uh, netlist to json file format just because uh, i just wanted to see that one into this svg file format this is uh, like more like commercial tools uh, will show up a schematic that way if we don't do this conversion then what it does is this will be uh, showing up here like as i said here show uh, while i was talking about line number eight internally it will generate a dot ex dot extension like a dot extension what i mean is what i mean dot dot extension so this dot 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 that extension file will not be that standard way like schematic we represent na? that uh, it is some some other way i will show that also so that is not good to uh, see so for that reason we are uh, using this one converting the dot extension file to jpeg file format this json file format is used to uh, convert with the help of this uh, netlist svg command to svg file format these are the just uh, schematic in a different file formats though if you don't want uh, uh, i mean you can you can neglect uh, all this so primary thing is only this one that is read this standard cell library read the very log file and then perform this uh, conversion this uh, proc that is uh, to the netlist file and clean and then show i mean visualize that schematic these are the important and then map that uh, tech map that is to the internal library and then convert to the standard cell library with the help of these commands and then write the netlist file these are the important so let's do that now open in terminal here yeah. just run that command your says just run that command means this entire script this is script so that is synth this uh, non-optimization percent. So now it has completed. So here you can see, so it is done now. So then here, Earlier, we were having only this mux and then this is sky 130, this liberty file, and this is script file. But now you can see several things have come. So I was talking about this dot extension. So I kept uh, here before uh, standard cells uh, being placed, and this is after standard cells being placed. Before standard cells being placed, this is dot dot extension. So this is dot dot extension. How do uh, we visualize this one? We with the help of this graph is with the help of this graph is. So now you see this one. This is how it is showing up. So this is not the standard. I mean, commercial tools show up a schematic. They show up a schematic somewhat like this. They show that. One. So if you go to this SVG and uh, open with this SVG preview, they show up somewhat like this. This is how the standard uh, way of showing. Standard, I mean, commercial tools show up like this. So 
this is uh, i mean how we want to uh, show, uh, view the same uh, text based uh, netlist file into the schematic this is a text based if you see this one netlist file this this netlist file this is the netlist file this netlist will have standards as you can see here sky 130 sky 130 all these are the standards as. So this is called text-based uh, netlist, and this kind of uh, net, I mean, viewing this kind of figure, our schematic is a, is I mean, the same netlist is in a schematic form. So this is uh, because of the huge uh, in this one. It's taking a bit time to load. So this is we can. So this one from here. So the, this JPEG basically this dot file only converted to the JPEG one. No, so a better way is to have a SVG file format. A SVG file format. Just now you have seen the SVG, right? This SVG file format is better than this JPEG. I mean, J dot only converted to the JPEG here. This way of viewing is for, uh, better than that uh, dot or JPEG. Okay, now coming to the report. If you see this report, the chip area, no, no, make a note of this chip area. This is uh, like, you know, 4202.7808 library units is a micrometer square. Okay, so this is all about non optimization of the resources. So you can see from here again, I'll just uh, take you there here. Uh, this is um, here. I'll go and uh, go to visualize this one. So two multipliers here, as discussed earlier. Uh, two multipliers and then one max one max that's how this has been implemented so let's see the optimized one this optimized one since uh, the same same thing uh, i mean the commands are almost same uh, i'll show the command in the optima optimize uh, resources here if you see this one those things are uh, we commented there now been uncommented here this two opt and share this share space hyphen accuracy so these commands what they do is uh, if you go to the non-optimized resources in non-optimized resources this script if you see i have commented them out here just to uh, demonstrate that how tool will take care like a resource of resource sharing we have to instruct the tool if there is a possibility of resource sharing then do it this is the resource sh sharing this one manually we did but this will not happen manually right we have to automate the entire thing so to automate the entire thing here uh, here are the instructions how we tell the tool so since the, this demonstration is for this first demonstration is for synthesis without optimization so that's why i commented this to here when you go to the synthesis with optimization here those commented things are uncommented here we are telling that optimize it and then if there is a possibility of resource sharing do it 
So how do we know that this command exists? This is again from the tool uh, reference here, command line reference. So somewhere down here, if you go to the share, yes alphabet here, here share here, this share. If you click here, there are several uh, other you know switches. These are the, this is main command and uh, sub commands kind of thing. This switches means. So we have used this one. So now, because of that usage, now if you see this report, you see the report consumption, chip area is 2,284.6912 micrometer square here. Whereas uh, earlier we have used this one, if you see this max mal non optimized, see the chip area. And uh, if you want to visualize this one here, uh, this one under this optimized resources. See two maxes. The way we discussed here, this this way is possible to implement uh, with one multiplier. The same thing is happening here: two max and one multiplier. So this is uh, important. I mean, uh, we have to understand. This is theory we learn from any book in the classroom. But when you, we are trying to do on EDA tools, electronic design automation tool, you know, so we have to understand, uh, uh, I mean, how to instruct the tool also. So here, one, the summary of this uh, tutorial is to share this knowledge that resource sharing is possible, carefully if you observe, and the same resource sharing, just if you write the Verilog like code and we, if you perform the synthesis, tool, sometimes tool may not be doing, we have to instruct the tool to take care of resource sharing as well. And that's what we are uh, understanding from this uh, demonstration. In first case here, when we are running the synthesis, we did not tell the tool to look into that resource sharing so this is the line number six and line number seven you can see we have commented them whereas under optimization optimized resources that script if you see we instructed the tool to take care if the resource sharing is possible so uh, this OSIS tool is open source tool uh, for front-end design. As you know, front-end design is uh, from converting RTL to uh, gate level uh, netlist. That is the front-end design in the digitalized design process. So if, you, if uh, one is using open source tool like uh, this synthesis, then they must know the tool familiarity is required. That's the purpose of this video part of that uh, purpose is to familiarize i mean uh, to emphasize the importance of uh, these commands as well uh, to understand uh, you know the commands that are required to properly uh, you know instruct the tool that we have to understand so that's what the tutorial is all about. If you have any doubts, please post them in comment section. Thank you.